Hello, everybody, and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Some very different news in the rugby world today, with Stuart Hogg having been arrested and held overnight uh, in the last day after contributing his bail conditions uh, after the former star was arrested earlier this year um, for basically harassing his uh, wife, Julian Hogg, and uh, has been arrested and was kept overnight um, yesterday, but has been granted bail. Uh, so that he can attend, I think it's his brother's wedding or brother-in-law's wedding um, this weekend. And uh, the Stuart Hogg sort of fall from grace does continue, doesn't it? Uh, when you consider that he retired about you know a year ago, didn't manage to get to the World Cup. You know, he was sort of he was going out as as a, as a legend, and and everybody was so upset about what a player could have been, and how he had tried so hard to make the World Cup. Since then, uh, the wheels have kind of fallen off the bus, hasn't it? He's been arrested. Um, he's um, gone through sort of that period. Now he's announced a return to rugby, only to be arrested again. Let's get into it, shall we? So, uh, Stuart Hogg was arrested earlier this year, uh, just over a little under a, a about a few months. And uh, when he was, there was sort of obviously all the allegations last year about him having an affair. And um, he was then, uh, that all sort of, uh, while his uh, first born was sort of, uh, uh, just, just, was, was just born. So, it was a weird um, time and, and a very poor time really at the, um, when, when they did break up in December from a, from a personal point of view. And um, things then got worse for him when he was arrested. I think it was in February. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, so, uh, Hogg was arrested in February after a Scotland Six Nations match at his estranged wife's house for allegedly engaging in the course of conduct which caused fear and alarm. He appeared in court in May, denying abusing and stalking his wife, Gillian, and was charged under Section 1 of the Domestic Abuse Scotland Act, which is allegedly engaged in a course of behaviour which was... Um, sorry, commas, abusive. Uh, he, is, he was set to stand trial on July 30th after he was granted bail. Um, but Police Scotland confirmed today that he has been arrested for allegedly breaching his bail conditions. Uh, a police spokesman said as follows. Around 2 p.m. on Tuesday, July 2nd, 2024, officers attended at an address in Harwick and a 32-year-old man was arrested and charged in connection with a breach of bail. Uh, a different source over here. Uh, seems to have more information confirming that he did spend a night in jail. Um, it said as follows. Uh, on Wednesday, uh, he has he pled guilty to repeatedly messaging his estranged wife between June 26th and 30th, despite a court order issued on the May, May the 7th. Uh, the Jed Berkshire Court um, heard Julian Hogg appeared to have contacted him first relating to a financial matter and that he'd reacted after consuming alcohol after she posted that video on social media, which struck a chord, apparently. Uh, Hogg's solicitor, Matt Patrick, asked that his client be released on bail as he has managed to obtain a contract with a, a club in France, Montpellier, uh, although they have not officially announced him, um, and is due to travel there later this month to find accommodation. He pointed out uh, also due to his, be his best man at his brother's wedding this weekend. Um, and Mr. Patrick said, uh, he's finding court proceedings and the breakdown of his relationship difficult emotionally. He's had a night in cells. He's never had that before. Um, India McLean and prosecution confirmed the messages weren't threatening, but she added they weren't pleasant and there were a lot of them. Uh, then from the sheriff, apparently, Sheriff, sheriff uh, Kevin McCarran apparently warned um, Stuart Hogg that it's only the fact that you have no previous convictions that allows you to maintain your liberty today, the fact that he was released on bail. Uh, sentence has been deferred until July the 15th, and Hogg has been released on bail to his brother's address meantime. He has been banned from contacting Julian Hogg, but the sheriff said he will defer consideration of a non-harassment order until that date. Um, the final part of it said that I will set um, additional conditions for you not to contact Julian Hogg. No contact means no contact. Just to be clear, if there's any repeat of that, it is highly unlikely you'll be granted your liberty, you'll be granted bail, and that he will be held. So uh, things not going well in the life of Stuart Hogg. And just so frustrating, isn't it? You know, a player who was a hero to many. I mean, he was one of my favorite players. You know, whenever I watch Scotland, you would watch it for Finn Russell, you'd watch it for Stuart Hogg, you know. And Stuart Hogg in particular was a player. I'll tell you what, when he was on, when he had those games, we got himself up. He was such a pleasure to watch. Um, proper BMT type player, loved the occasion. Um, you know, and, and a big personality. So to have watched this transpire in the last calendar year is very sad. It is kind of one of those, you know, don't, you don't want to meet your heroes and be careful who you idolize because, you know, we kind of start to realize who um, these sort of people really are. But uh, yeah, frustrating. And he was supposed to come back to rugby. Um, I think obviously probably financial reasons really related to that. I mean, he, you know, was supposed to have retired early from a medical point of view, wasn't going to be able to get back to fitness for the Scotland World Cup and stuff like that. 
now sort of sounds like maybe there was more going on at the time than just sort of fitness issues. But it was going to be interesting to see what he's going to be able to do at Montpellier. He signed a two-year contract uh, with an option for a third year. Whether now this sort of throws into a bit of doubt, we'll have to wait and see because, you know, as your current employers or future employers in Montpellier, who contract where he would have started on Monday, 1st July, actually, do not really want to be seeing this, do you? Um, so very interested to see what will happen. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.